hello and a huge welcome to this video i'm scorpion from how to do and in this video you guys will be learning how to add your custom splash screen or i can say intro to your game so without wasting any time let's get started first thing what you have to do is you have to go to file and go to build settings and then from there you have to go to player settings there we go and then you can close this guy and then as you can see here are some options one of them is splash image so you have to come over here uh, and if you're using unity personal which i am using right now which is free then you cannot change the unity or you cannot remove the unity splash screen that displays whenever you play the game that looks something like this if you press this preview button it will look something like this so this will not be removed uh, when you are using unity personal however if you are using unity pro then you will be able to disable that by just uh, clicking this guy all right you will be do that and you will be doing that you can uh, change the settings for this logo like you can change its color you, uh, I like this better and then you can uh, let it be static like over there or it can be customized like you can uh, change the zooming you can change the background zooming and all that like like it's all your uh, choice but I'm gonna set it to dolly and like to on dark uh, because that is good okay so then what you can do is you can add your uh, custom logo over here so how you can do that is you can go ahead and drag and drop your logos so I have this scorpion logo over here and also I have this intro video first let me just go ahead and drag and drop this uh, this uh, logo in here so there I uh, there is my logo to so make sure when you select that it is set to sprite 2d and UI all right like that and then you have to just hit apply and mine is already done so that the background is like null like it's a PNG or file alright I'm gonna go to file build settings player settings now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and inside of these logos you have to say plus and then you have to drag in uh, your actual logo in there alright and then you can see there is an option of draw mode so you can set your logo below the unity logo like like it, like that all right so unity logo will be below your uh, your actual logo or you can set it to all uh, sequential like first unity logo will appear then your uh, uh, logo will appear and then the game will start however uh, you can also change the duration and all that and you can also set the background color to something like if I set this background image to something like you can set it to anything if I say preview now you can change you can see there is a gradient behind it all right so the gradient is a little not visible but it's still there let me just go ahead and try to change it no it's not it can be changed uh, but but if you can use a gradient uh, it can be there like this is little light this is little dark it can be yeah yeah you you you, you know what I mean right okay so I just clicked somewhere so you, you can go to edit project settings and from there you can also select player settings and this is the same window uh, so I'm gonna use this one instead because if I click somewhere else uh, it is gonna just disappear but this this is gonna not gonna uh, disappear okay so um, this is the first way of adding your uh, intro but this is not kind of the intro that like the games have like no it, it, it's not as cool as it should be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select this guy select this guy and remove it so only the unity logo will appear uh, like this alright and then what we can do is we can go ahead and say right click create a scene scene and this will be our intro intro and we can go ahead and go in there as you can see the default scene is like this so what you have to do is you have to add a video intro in here and I already have prepared mine one and it looks something like this like that all right so I'm gonna just go ahead and drag and drop it inside of unity just like this and by default it is uh, already a video so if we click over here we can see the video all right so uh, what we can do is we oh it's looped <laughs> okay so what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and say right click create a UI and a canvas 
and bus and set it to screen uh, now it's okay so you have to set this to uh, screen size and then you can uh, in insert your screen resolution in my case it's 1920 by 1080 so 1080 oops 1080 okay and then what you can do is we can say right click create an empty game object or I think it's an empty game object let's let's go ahead and do that and then you have to go ahead and say add component and say video so there's a video player over there so select that and I'm using unity 2018.3 alright so make uh, make sure you have this or above or maybe unity 2017 have unity uh, video player I guess it has that so then you have to drag and drop your video inside over there alright and you can configure the settings like if you start the scene it will uh, start playing the video first uh, wait for some time uh, yeah uh, then loop I don't want it to be loop and then skip on drop yeah playback speed you can set the playback speed which means the actual speed that the video is playing you can set it to slow motion you can set it to really fast but I'm gonna set it to one which is normal speed and then what you have to do is you have to go ahead and set the rendering texture to camera far plane and then you have to drag and drop your camera inside of here just like that and then if we play the game now we can see right, just like an intro but as you can see when the video finishes nothing actually happens we want the actual scene to be loaded after that so what we're gonna do is first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select the camera and set the color to black so that we cannot distinguish uh, between the video like if the video is not playing then we will not be able to see the that like if we play now and I set it to red if we play now there you can see the first two ones have the red color so I want it to be black color alright you know what I mean okay so now we can save the scene and then I can go ahead and okay so this is my scene the game scene so I want to show the intro first and then I want this scene to be executed so how do we do that well we can do that by simple uh, script maybe I uh, think we can do it with a script so let's let's try and add a script so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna go ahead and see how long our video is so it uh, we can see it later okay so go to your main camera or anything like that is visible in the intro scene this is the intro scene all right so go to I, I'm gonna go ahead and select my main camera and I'm gonna say wait and this will be a new script C sharp script create an ad and I will uh, double click to open it up in visual studio all right so it's gonna of course take some time uh, visual studio takes some time uh, to open to open up there we go cool so this is the wait uh, script that we just made and by default there are two functions there are a start function and there is an update function what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the start function and we are gonna delete the update function because we don't need that and then we can delete this comment because we don't need that too okay and then we can come over here and say uh, or we can go to start and we can say start coroutine and coroutine is actually a kind of a method to wait and in there we're gonna go ahead and add the name of the function we're gonna uh, name the function wait and then we're gonna stop it with the uh, the semicolon all right the terminator <laughs> uh, okay and then we can go ahead and add this function so uh, if you're using coroutine then you have to say uh, this guy and then you have to say wait uh, the one which we just made and then these two brackets and then this guy and there we go and uh, as you can see it's giving us a error so that will be removed when we add the lines in here all right so because this is this guy so we have to add some lines so we want to wait for seconds right it is done by uh, writing uh, what was it what was it yield I guess yield return no return new and then it was wait for seconds 
uh, wait for seconds wait for seconds and then we can add the seconds which we want you can set it to like uh, five seconds but the best way to do it is by um, uh, by going and adding a public float and then you can set wait time equals and then you can set it to something like five seconds so 5f and then in here instead of 5 you want to set it to uh, a wait time that you just made over here this one all right so as you can see it's giving me this error so that is because uh, that is because my uh, script name is same as this function name so we have to change it uh, let me just go ahead and say wait for intro and do the same thing over here so copy this paste it and there we go now we don't have any errors save it and then after we have uh, waited for five seconds or any seconds and then what we're gonna do is we want to go ahead and load the scene all right so what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and say in here if unity no, uh, using uh, oops oh come on using unity engine dot scene management or scene manager or scene management yeah and then the semicolon so this is uh, required in if you want to load or you know load scenes and do that stuff and then in here we can say scene manager dot load scene and we can add the uh, scene uh, build index all right like this or do we have to like this or do we have to do it like that I think we all have to do that okay so when I save it and when I go back to unity and if I go to file build settings and add open scene so this is my intro and if I go to levels and my other oh, okay let's change this name so level this is level and drag it that in so as you can see the build index is this so build index of intro is 0 and build index for level is 1 all right so that is cool so what we're doing is we are going to load the scene with the build index 1 which is the uh, which is the 1 all right which is the level so let me just go ahead and set it to 2 so we can see if it's working or not so after a second it should load some new level there we go so and uh, now uh, what we're gonna do is we want to go ahead and set it to uh, the same um, amount of seconds as my uh, video so if I go over here and select my video and pause it it's of six seconds all right so I'm gonna come back to unity and set it to six seconds or I can set it to five point five seconds and then if I play now the intro should be there like that and when the intro stops we should be able to play the game bam cool so this was it hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and yeah this is it hope you guys enjoyed uh, this was the way that I added the intro screen into my game uh, if you haven't played my game I recently published on a Google uh, Play Store uh, so if you haven't played it go ahead and make sure you play that download that the link will be in the description box below and yeah that is it hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in my next video